Hello, welcome to Crowded Lab channel. Today I will do task magic review. This is kind of software which I was looking for myself. It is an automation software with which you can record anything you do on the web and then reproduce that. I will show you an example later. This tool recently became available on AppSumo and got some amount of reviews already. Let's quickly take a look at what you get in the deal. Basically, you are not limited in your automations. You can have unlimited automations, unlimited steps in the automations, and you have support for Mac and PC as desktop application. And you can scrape up to 50,000 results at a time. That's pretty generous for me. And what's great about this software is that even with license tier one, you have a great deal. I would say a safe start to explore this software because you have unlimited workflows and unlimited runs of your workflows. For the second tier plan, you can invite additional users and configure some permissions for those users. And in case you will like the tool, you may upgrade to license tier three or four to get some additional features. For example, unlimited file downloads, tags, I presume for better organizations of your automations and unlimited custom steps. With license tier four, additionally, you have support for webhooks. So for example, you will be able to post your data to any website, to any your custom webhook, because by default, you are able to export your scrape data to Google Sheets only. And just to compare with Absumo deal, these are task magic regular pricing options. And compared to that, Absumo deal looks much, much better. Instead of paying more than $1,000 for their starter plan, you can have that for life for only $49 on AppSumo. Okay, let's go to the tool. Once you log into the application, you will be able to download their standalone desktop version of their software. All right, so let's jump into testing the application. On the background, you can see a spreadsheet where we will upload scrape data. And here is the main window of their application. And let's go to the demo. We can click start capturing and then capture steps. There will appear a new browser window. And let's actually do our steps. Let's go to Amazon. Let's search for the best laptop. Click search. And now let's extract some data. For that, we need to click list. Click on the first, first item from the list. Let it be this one. Then we need to click on the second item from the list, this one. We can scrape that data as text or URL. For this one, let it be text. Let's add another column. And now let's select the price from the first item. Then we need to select the second item from the list. Okay. Again, let it be text. Let's add another column. Here we can see the hints from the tool that we need to select the first item from the list. Let it be this image. Then the second item from the list. And now let it be URL. We need to give uh, such hints as first item from the list, 
second item from the list. So the two will understand how to scrape all the items from list which it sees right now. And that's it. Let's press stop recording. Then you are given these steps. Let's rename our automation. Let's save it. And now let's also add another step, sending data to Google Sheets. I have shared this spreadsheet so the application will have access to it. We can select a particular sheet. In that sheet, there must be columns presented. That looks good. Okay, so now we have our automation ready and let's test it. Let's play steps. Once I hit play steps, it opened the browser window and it will replay everything that I did before. First, it went to amazon.com. There might be slight delay. Now you can see Tenter's best laptop, then automatically presses search. And now it is extracting the data and soon we will see on the background how it will populate the spreadsheet. And here it is. Here is the data. We can see the description, we can see the price, we can see the link. Here it is. This tool is not perfect yet. And you can see that right in the tool, if you find a bug, want a feature, add it to a roadmap. They understand that they have a lot of things to improve. Regarding the number of the results, I think I got less because first I chose two sponsored links. And I think if I would skip sponsored content, I would have more results. When I was preparing for the video, I was able to run automation and got all the items from the list. So let's move to the conclusion. This tool has solid four tacos out of 47 reviews as of today. And I think it would have more if they would fix some small issues here and there. Sometimes you need to restart the application. Sometimes it records a few more steps than needed. You can add some of your custom steps here. The tool is pretty powerful and simple at the same time. For some websites, it didn't work for me. I think it's not fault of task magic, but there is some protection from site owners. Site owners don't like automated tools because automated tools will not click sponsored links. They will not click on any advertisement on the website. So the owners of the website do provide some protection. They may change the data structure on their website. So we will need to run task magic and see on which website it works. Basically, this tool will record anything, what you do on your web browser, and it can repeat the steps. At this current stage, there still are some minor issues with the tool. And I see that the team is updating the tool constantly. So I hope it will stabilize soon. At the end, I like the tool. I like that they provide the simplicity that you can just record the steps and play those. If you like this tool, please check the link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching.